Today we are going to see the best setting for Distant Horizon mod with shaders. Let's get started. Right now I have a Ryzen 5 5500 and a 1650 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. My PC isn't the worst, but it can be better. So let's turn on Distant Horizon. I get 125 FPS and if you have anything lower than a GTX 1650, then you should really play the game like this without any shaders. I, I You can change the cpu load to balanced and if you want to just load your chunk quickly and don't worry about playing the game nice and smoothly then you can change it to i paid for the whole cpu for now you can choose anything below balanced and you can change another setting that is uh, graphics for it looks nice when i use sky color in my opinion well it's your preference i just told you the settings and now you can enjoy your game like this and if you want shaders most of you guys probably came here to see some shader settings so here let me show you there is i guess nine shaders that support distant horizon right now and none of them are low end you can choose bliss or complementary imagined or photon in my opinion they look the best for today's video i will choose photon because it is lightweight i'm getting 38 to 36 fps you can play it like this but i will give you the best setting for this shader so first we will change the profile to low not low medium because low profile look absolutely dog shit then turn off fxaa then you are done right now i'm getting 40 to 45 fps but there is an issue if i change the weather to rainy you will see the water kinda looks bad with the rain it's now really noisy so what we will do here is uh, change the water wave intensity again the water water waves raise the intensity change it from 1 to 0.44 now it looks much better but still there is some rain overlapping with the water textures what we can do here is go to world and then rain opacity change it from 0.15 to 0.80 and apply and now the rain gonna look white but it's okay in real life water is white almost white now you don't have the issue anymore you can change the opacity to your liking and there is another issue that is if I go to the end, for this fog it's so hard to see in the end. If you want to find some end cities, you won't be having a great time. So let's change it. Make sure to go to shader settings and world setting. Turn off end glow. And the weird glowy end thing is gone. The fog is now much more tolerable. That's my suggestion. If you want to play with distant horizon mode with a low end PC, try these settings it won't disappoint you if you change your if you set your cpu load to anything above low impact then your pc gonna struggle your game gonna have some lag spikes and that's it that's my suggestion uh, if you want if you really want some more fps then i won't suggest you but you can turn on taa upscaling now my game has been upscaled it still look bad when my screen oh. is in motion so thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.